Her eyes were filled with murderous anger. She raises her shotgun and targets the vehicle directly in front of her. She pulls the trigger while the man is pumping gas. The powerful recoil made her fall to the ground. What was it that made her kill so ruthlessly? It started a day earlier. Yesterday, Mary was a beautiful woman. She was a hot young woman with a hot body. She stepped off the helicopter with her long legs. She arrived at her desert villa with her boyfriend Charlie. They were ready to enjoy a wonderful three-day vacation. But little did she know that something terrible was about to happen to her. The next day, Mary comfortably picked up an apple and bit into it. Just as she turned around, she was shaking with fear. Four two men with shotguns were staring at her. When the situation became awkward, Charlie showed up. He broke the ice. It turned out they were all his friends. They had planned to hunt together in two days, but they came here earlier than expected. Mary was very surprised by their arrival. His eerie smile scared her even more. Their sweet trip had turned into a four-person orgy. Jack was full of nonsense and jokes, and he grabbed the binoculars to peek at Mary's delicate face. Just as they were having a good time, a packet of something on the table caught their attention. Charlie told them it was a powerful hallucinogen. If you take it, you won't feel any pain even if you cut off your leg. Then, Charlie gave this to Mary. Mary hid it in her necklace for safety. The next day, Mary woke up and found that Charlie was not beside her bed. She had just put her clothes back on. Jack barged in. Then he sat her down next to Mary and handed her a card. He confesses his love for her. Mary told him to forget about it. He needs to get a good look at him. Jack is enraged. He pushes Mary against the glass. Just at that critical moment, Andy pushed his way in. Mary seems to see a savior. Her desperate eyes are filled with pleading, but Jack tells Andy to either stay together or get out. Andy thinks about it and closes the door. Mary is raped in her room. Andy turns on the TV and sits outside, waiting for her boyfriend to return to the villa. Mary sobbed uncontrollably. She wanted him to get justice for her, but she never expected. He acted as if nothing had happened. Then he pulled out a check. He told Mary to forget everything that had just happened. Mary saw him for what he was. She threatened her boyfriend to get her out of here, or she would make it public. He was furious when he heard that. He slapped Mary to the ground. Mary had to run away. Charlie immediately chased after her. Jack also sensed that the situation was not good. He got up and followed them. Mary's feet were bare and she was running wild. She didn't care about the pain on the bottom of her feet. But at that moment, the cliff in front of her completely blocked her escape. Before Mary could catch her breath, they had already appeared behind her. Charlie apologized as he comforted her. But then he thought about it. A wicked idea came to his mind. He pushed Mary off the cliff. The tree branch penetrated her body. The blood inside her kept dripping down. They all felt that Mary was dead. So they leave. They go back to the villa and destroy all Mary's belongings. But what they didn't expect, Mary wasn't dead. She fought through the pain to reach the ladder on the ground. Then she pulled the weeds and set them on fire. With the branches burning, Mary fell down. But life is unpredictable. Before Mary could ease her emotions, in the distance came the roar of the engine. They turned back again with the intention of disposing of the body. Mary knew that if she was found, she would die. So she tried her best to move her body. Finally, at the last minute, she was able to get into their blind spot. They looked down and were dumbfounded. Mary had disappeared. They wanted to see her alive or dead. They decided to look below, but when they arrived at the scene, Mary was long gone. They searched for her according to the bloodstains left on the ground. Finally, they lost the trail at a river. After a discussion, they decided to split up. At this time, Mary was struggling to walk through the river. Just then, behind her came the roar of a car again. Mary dives into the water and escapes again. Exhausted, she climbs to the riverbank only to find Andy peeing. She looks over at the shotgun sitting next to her and feels a desire for revenge. She lowers her body and slowly approaches. By the time Andy reacted, the cold muzzle of the gun was already aligned and aimed at him. Mary didn't hesitate and pulled the trigger, but the bullet was not loaded. Andy grabbed the gun. He pushed her down. Then he pushed her into the water and tortured her repeatedly. In a panic, Mary felt the dagger on Andy's waist. She stabbed Andy in the eye as hard as she could. Andy was in great pain finally died in the river. Mary took her house. Then she went to a cave to hide temporarily in order to prevent the wound from getting infected. She opened the necklace and took a powerful hallucinogen. Then she cut open a can and burned it red. She applied it to the wound on her abdomen. The next day Mary woke up suddenly from a nightmare. She gathered her equipment and walked out of the cave. She went to the highest position to observe the situation. From this moment on, a bloody road of revenge officially opened. At that moment, Charlie came to the river. They found Andy's body already surfaced. They were scared and couldn't believe it. 
they split up again to look for Mary. Unbeknownst to them, Mary had already seen their movements. Mary followed Jack's car all the way to the back. She waited for the perfect moment to strike. Just as Jack got out of his car to get gas, Mary pulled the trigger. The the powerful recoil knocked Mary to the ground. When she got up again, Jack was gone. She cautiously went to the front of the car. She found only a bright red blood stain on the ground. Mary followed the trail of blood. She suddenly found that the blood trail had disappeared. Only a broken shoe appeared in front of her eyes. The cunning Jack hid in the high place and loaded bullets. He sneaked up behind Mary. He fought through the pain and set up his gun to aim. And he fired. Luckily, the bullet only grazed Mary's ear. Mary got up and fled. Jack kept shooting behind her. Mary had to break the flashlight. Glass was scattered all over the floor. Jack stepped on it unsuspectingly. Mary also took advantage of this opportunity to hide. Jack started the car and accelerated forward. He kept stepping on the gas pedal. Mary heard the car roar and decided to fight back. She raised her shotgun. She waited quietly for the moment of confrontation. She fired and Jack was killed. Now the only enemy left is Charlie. By now. Charlie was standing at the promised location. He had been waiting for hours, but Jack was not there yet. He suddenly felt that something was wrong, so he quickly returned to the villa and planned to pack his bags and leave. Just as he was taking a shower, there was a commotion at the door. He didn't have time to put on his clothes and immediately went out with his gun. He checked and found that there was nothing unusual. He looked back and frowned in his tracks. Mary threw the glass, but her gun was already aimed at him. Charlie gave him a guilty look, but it was too late. He had to pay with his life to atone for his sins. She calmly walked out of the villa and looked at the things in the distance. She'd been through a day and a night of life and death. She became a fearless warrior with a vengeance. This story tells us, do not hurt anyone or you will pay a serious price.